All right, so we're back again, Dave's World Episode 3. Welcome back, everybody. I hope I got an exciting episode for you. Lately, I've been talking a lot about the Amazon Echo Dot, and today isn't going to quite be like that. We're not going to be talking about her. We're going to be talking about something I mentioned, something that's been right there that everybody's been dying to know about. They keep hearing about it in the news. So this next thing, something that's on the tip of everybody's tongue. They've been begging me. The comment section has blown up with people asking about it. What is the Osmo Mobile? So I think that's something that I had to talk about. Um, I was hesitant because this is the only camera equipment I have, and it really takes more than that to do this any justice, even in Dave's world. So here it is, the Osmo Mobile. Um, this thing really is responsible for what's going on here at Dave's World. Uh, without this, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to any anybody right now. It just wouldn't be happening. So let's dive right in. Well, Dave, they're all saying, what is the Osmo Mobile? I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, well, this thing is fantastic. It is three-axis stabilization system for your smartphone in a handheld super easy to take around with you um everybody's got smartphones uh mine's busy right now so i can't take it out and show you um but everybody's taking video with them and you know they're on their vacation and you got all of this and you watch a 20 percent of it and you pretty much want to take it and throw it in the ocean it's just like my videos hard to keep watching um and nobody ever does anything with them so one day out of the blue google has an article for me to read and it's about this and don't you know i pretty much have to have it going forward at that point i got a little kid and i figured i could get the purchase past the wife by claiming that i was going to make family videos of her while she was growing up and really it's worked out pretty well um so well, in fact, that I decided to go right ahead and play with this thing even a little more, which is why Dave's World is here. I got this toy, and I'm like, might as well use it. So, there's that. Well, now, I give me a quick peek back in episode one by doing something like this, and that was a nice, quick shot. Of what we got but this wasn't gonna cut it for the whole thing and also hold on give me a second a little better if I had actually cleaned the mirror Let's see if that helps any all right that yeah, I think that did um, so that's a quick peek at it and what this thing does is keeps the phone nice and steady. I've got it in the stand, but if I pick this up, you can see the smooth footage that you get. And let me back it up, see if you can see my arm here moving around and just how smooth the footage is. It's pretty unbelievable. And all of a sudden it makes shooting video with your cell phone worth it. Just super awesome, super glad I bought the thing for 300 bucks. Uh, it's just awesome. Uh, my first videos that you can find on here are ones that I made for my family, like I said I was, um, with zero experience doing anything. But wait, there's more of what this thing can do. Um, again, I've been playing around with different ways to show you this. So 
On to the next move is where I thought I would do screen sharing to the old kitchen TV. So I'm going to take you with me. We're going to head over there. Now what I'm going to have to do is dim the lighting. And now you can see some of this is just making my brain melt. Um, this is where I'm not sure that we need this many days, brand new days world, but let's see if we can do a little thing called the active track. So I'm going to tap that little button there. We're going to highlight the television and I'm going to walk around and you should see the footage is nice and smooth. Even with me just cruising around, um, not really giving much thought to keeping this thing steady. Uh, so, hey, this test worked out pretty good. So, there's some of what the Osmo Mobile can do. See if we can... Oh, no. Another dimension. Another dimension. That's a little creepy. Um, well, that was kind of a fun little test there. Uh... We're going to have to see how that turned out. Maybe it'll make the final cut. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure if this video is going to be choppy. Uh, I'm running that screen share. That might be slowing things down. So I better take a look before I record all this. And it's just awful. All right. So that was the active track um, where you just highlight something, uh, drag your finger on it, pick it with a green box, and it's going to follow it around, um, give you nice smooth footage, keeping things in frame. So um, this Osmo Mobile, it's my cameraman. That's how I do these kinds of shots that you may have seen in my other video where I can just get up and move around and uh, really do my thing. Um, and cameraman over here, Mr. Osmo Mobile, catching every bit of Day's World without me having to worry about it at all. Uh, so... This thing, again, well worth the 300 bucks I paid for it. Uh, got my money's worth for sure. Um, pretty much never been happier with a purchase other than all my other stuff. But it's awesome. It's awesome. Did I say that it's awesome? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Did I say that it was awesome? Okay. Um... I'm going to go back to regular mode, turn off the active track feature here. Uh, nifty little thing, you got a trigger on the back, double click that, it's going to recenter it, boom. Another method I wanted to show you was, uh, I was going to try and use a mirror so you could see what was going on. So give me a minute, I'm going to be right back, try and get this mirror set up, done for you. Ixnay that. Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, just adjust this a little bit. Got the mirror all set up. Found this in the garbage about 12 years ago, maybe more. Um, probably a good reason why, uh, but it's been working for me ever since. Um, here's what I'm going to try and do. A little more of the active track. Got to hit this button, make sure... And I got the green square, reach over, try and, mm, I think I might have missed. Let me try that again. Get the, get the Dave, get the arm out of the way. And I think it may have me. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but it's following me around. And I was hoping you were going to be able to get a peek at that. As I moved around the mirror here, um, so you could see the active tracking actually happening um, as we speak. Surround so there. So this feature is really cool um, to make it easy to get those nice sweeping shots. Uh, that uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see some of that, and you'll see how that this can work in. Uh, Turn you from a crappy video shooter into an amazing videographer like myself. That was getting a little carried away. Uh, Alright, so there's another look 
at the active track where you can see the Osmo mobile here. Um, I hope that uh, does a good enough job. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to include this part, the forward facing, so you can go to look at it from this side. Well, um, so now you can get a real good idea of just how smooth this can make everything as you move around there. See the trigger, got the trigger right here. If I go ahead and aim this thing, I'm gonna get my aim squared away. Now, if I hold the trigger down, it's gonna stay right there. Even as I move around, you see, it's gonna keep it nice and still. So as you're moving around, you can keep locked right in to what it is that you wanna keep locked into. Um, just another great function that this thing has on it. So uh, I had to give you a look at that. Um, Dave, please tell us more, more. What more can it do? Well, it can do a lot of things. Uh, it's going to be tough for me to show them all to you, but uh, it can take like nine picture panoramics and it's like and it stitches them all together and you get these great shots like this I mean how awesome is that and it looks cool when you do it and people want to know what is this thing where did you get it I just I love it this thing is great uh great now you're gonna run into a few issues I'm not gonna lie uh Earlier in the video, uh, when I had it screen sharing and running, it was a little overload for the phone. You're asking a lot out of it, so there was some you know, little jitters, um, like when you get too much coffee going. Another issue you're going to have is phone storage when you're shooting video, uh, especially if you're shooting in 4K like this thing can do. I don't often shoot in 4K because it uses up a ton of space quick. Uh, any video uses up a ton of space quick. but. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. I picked up one of these 128 gigabyte USB OTG stick. Uh, got a micro USB on the one end and it's got the USB on the other. 128 gigs at $30. Uh, another thing I like about Android, not going to cost you an arm and a leg for stuff like this. You can get similar things for the iPhone but uh, be prepared to pay three to four times as much um, for that pleasure. But love having this thing. Uh, I just, on the go, boom. I can pause the video, take the phone out, pop the USB in, transfer some files over, but bam Don't have much to worry about. You can go home, put them on the computer, uh, which I don't haven't done yet. I um, filmed this up pretty quick, but it's uh, still got some room. So probably should back them up, good idea. Uh, but I haven't so hopefully I don't lose everything so USB OTG uh, Must have 30 bucks 128 gigs All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna do a little section here. Where I'm gonna throw in clips that uh, from my little movies that I've made um, to get going here uh, and you know how I like to mix things together. So here we're going to mix in the JBL Extreme Bluetooth speaker, uh, which I got right here. This family uh, Christmas tree hunting expedition. I went ahead and I loaded up my Amazon Fire tablet uh, with a whole bunch of Christmas music and downloaded it right to the device so I could use it offline. Stuffed it in my back pocket, uh, put the shoulder strap on my extreme and put this like this and took it with me so we get out to the tree farm I got the speaker with me easy to carry around uh, it's a little hefty but you wear it on the shoulder rest it on your hip you don't even know it's there uh, so now rocking Christmas tunes out in the middle of the forest while using my Osmo mobile uh, Sure, was everybody looking at me? Yeah. Do I think they were a little bit jealous that I was winning Christmas? Yeah. Uh, our family looked awesome out there. Thanks, Dave. Um, so these next couple clips are unedited from the field 
with music coming from this getting picked up by my crappy cell phone microphone, which is all I have right now, looking into some options on that, see if Dave's World takes off and it's even worth the money. Uh, so, without further ado, here is some video. Cue the video. Okay. Hey, guys, cue the video. Well, this certainly is getting embarrassing. say about this thing um comes with a little carrying case it's not the nicest carrying case you're ever going to see in the world but uh it's been working for me uh fits right in there uh, i can fit my uh usb otg i got a spare phone charging cable uh any of that stuff that you might need easy to take along with you uh so you get that you get the osmo uh 300 bucks i just can't see not getting one um it's awesome. I love it. Did I say that I love it? Because I love it. Uh, and you'll love it too. If you got the money and it's not going to be a big deal to your wallet, uh, you're not going to regret getting the darn thing. I know I don't. And uh, you'll like it too. So get one. Talk to you later. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time. Uh, should be uh, some more talk on the horizon. I still got some the other uh, stuff I had in my opening credit video that you have yet to see. Uh, so um, I'm going to get into some of that. Uh, anything else uh, you're interested in, leave in the comments section below. Um, happy to get to it when I can. Uh, so comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Uh, and till next time, this is Dave from Dave's World. No dancing today, but I do have a Rubik's Cube. We're going to do a little motion time lapse for you here at the end. I'm going to set the timer to three minutes uh, every half second. And uh, let's go ahead and do that right now.